ดีครับ Welcome to Sanok. Best part of Seoul. This is Thailand. This is Nick, and uh, this is PK. I'm the little brother in the family. Ah, oh, it's a family thing. This is how we make money, you know. <laughs> This is how we make money. Okay. All right. Hey, but anyways, like, are you free on the 4th of October? Well, you gonna take me somewhere? Yeah, man. Where we going? We're gonna go watch Keen live in Bangkok. They're here. You know Keen? I'm familiar oh, with them. Be, yes. Come on, man. Don't be so cute. The. Ah. Keen, the the English the 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 English Brit pop. All the okay, all right. Yeah. The, the, all right. Look, Keen, they were here once again, uh, once before, six years ago. Um, the tickets on the fourth of October, only one thousand eight hundred baht. It's up. It's gonna be sold out. You know why? You know well, why, right? Really? Because it's, the tickets are cheap. Yeah, it's not expensive no. though. So yeah. contact we slash booking dot com. I'll call them 02-900-9999 and press four. Right? It's gonna be at the Moonstar Studio, which is right there. Where? Right there. Well, if you point that way, how are they gonna know you? Hey, man. Not, it could be on this way. Go if you point, Google it. It's 2012. Google well, it. Well, Moonstar Studio. It's right there. Okay, you Google it, but you don't point over there if you're gonna Google. You don't hey, Google look, over there. Go to the taxi and go. <laughs> PK said Moonstar Studio, right there. <laughs> Right. And, and watching right. it charge a thousand baht for it. <laughs> anyway, all right. We'll get you, we'll get to that later. But anyway, if you don't don't if you if you're not familiar with uh, with Keen, four members: Tom Chaplin, uh, lead singer; mm -hmm. Richard Hughes, he plays his drum; Tim Rice, Oxy piano; and Jesse Quinney plays the bass. Uh, first album, Smash Hit with uh, Hopes and Fears in 2004, uh, sold over five million albums, and now they are back. They are back and back in Bangkok. So it's gonna be cool, man. So I, so I saw them live too. You're gonna see him again, though. I saw him live right? in yeah. I saw him live in in Germany. So how was it when you went to? Germany? It was good. It was, yeah. it, actually, they played they played the small clubs there really big. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. small club, but then it was just jam packed. Really? Yeah, yeah it was really good. It was really how did you make your way with, with the Germany? Did you with, do with, the, with my company? You know, I don't pay for my trips, man. Why well, know that? Unless I go with my girl. <laughs> there I go again. Which one? That's only one. Oh. That's why I'm so slim. Okay. Ah! But anyways, I, I let me check. You know what? If you see this and you want to go check it, check it if the tickets are sold out. Musa Studio, uh, Studio Number Eight, right at 8 p.m. It's gonna be packed. I'm telling you right now. Yes, yeah, so don't forget. You got Keen on the fourth. You got um, Maroon, Maroon 5, Five on the on 8th of October. Right, 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 yeah. right. That's so, all. That's a whole bunch of things to do in Bangkok. Always. And that's why always. we're here. We yeah. send them. Just making sure you know where to go, and don't get lost. Or the taxi. Musa's over there. PK said. Thank you, PK and Nick. And there they were taking us to the Keen Live in Bangkok concert. Actually, it's so great to see that there's a lot of foreign uh, bands coming to Bangkok. We had Oasis, mm -hmm. we're going to have Maroon 5, and there's Keen, and hopefully lots and lots more. Actually, Atif Aslam as well, um, who's from Bollywood. Wow. Yeah, lots and lots of people coming this year. It's great. And, and uh, as, as I know, they, they sell out really quickly. Yeah. Very quickly, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's good because, you know, we haven't always had lots of entertainment here, but this year is looking good. So all the teams that are bringing it in, as well as BEC Terror, it's uh, good to see you're looking after us and spending our money so we can enjoy the entertainment. <laughs> 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 We're now going to, of course, bring you the one and only video clip that you always wait for. Johan, what's the story? Well, speaking of entertainment, this is we're going to take a look trip around to the other side of the globe to my favorite city, New York, where, yes, we have our famous yellow cabs there, but even more famous are the people fighting over them. Take a look. Start spreading the news. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Well, we don't have that here. But you know, you, New York is also one of my favorite cities, I have to say. The entertainment, the nightlife is great. But you guys can be very aggressive, let me tell you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially the taxi drivers. I remember coming from Australia to LA, then on to the States, and I didn't know the tipping, or I'd forgotten the tipping. I was probably jet lagged. And so when I gave the, the taxi driver a tip, and obviously wasn't enough, the next thing my bag is just thrown across the road. Oh, so wow. it's like, how much you want, guys? Tell me and we'll know the rules. You don't tell me, I don't know the rules. What is it that makes people so agitated? Um, what I'm, makes you so agitated? I mean, from, from living there, we're all very time conscious there. 
Mm, okay. You know, one of the big things there is, you know, you get to put, you know, if you say you're going to get to a certain place on time, you get there on time. Mm. And, you know, we're always moving. We walk fast, we talk fast, we, we work hard, we play hard. Um, <coughs> so I <laughs> 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 must have had such a culture shock when you came here then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> half time. Um, but I mean, if, if, if you look at it, there's so many different cultures. It's really a multicultural city. Yeah. It's not mm. just Caucasian, white, you know, you know, you have different ethnic, ethnicities, neighborhoods all around the city. So it's, it's really a melting pot. I mean, it's... So guys, it wasn't the Caucasian Americans <laughs> fighting to get in that taxi. It was the others. You know how the story goes yeah. in America? Well, it's, it's funny the fact that those two guys are wearing suits. So, you know, a couple businessmen, a couple older businessmen mm. fighting over it. It yeah. shows you, you're never too old to be immature. <laughs> <laughs> there must be an answer to that. But I think we just move right along. We're going to close the program. We're going to fight off the set. And uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie McKenzie. Sawadee I'm Johan Wimonchalau. Sawadee And I'm Tapani. Nimana Wei Tsuadika.